What's up, also family? It's your boy, also craft, coming back with another video. This is going to be more of a tutorial video for you guys. As you can see here, we are in my SMP server world. Um, a lot of work has been done. We'll go over that in the next video I do. But uh, what we're talking about today is, as you can see here, we have this iron golem farm. Now, I want to actually pop down here. I'm going to leave it. Uh, where my hand and stuff doesn't show just for this, but as you can see here, it's a normal iron golem farm going into the center here. Oops, I never finished this. I gotta bring my hand back. There. Because there's no need to go down there anymore. Um, I have this all blocked off now. Um, what this video tutorial is gonna be is actually going to be about a filter for your iron golem farm now if i drop all the way down here you'll see we are getting iron but we're not getting poppies um so this tutorial is going to be on how to delete the poppies automatically from your farm all right guys here we are in a super flat test world um there's really nothing to this world just made it for the purpose of this tutorial but as you see here in front of us this is basically everything you're going to need um a block of choice um this is just actually for my personal to show you guys a dropper hopper chest an anvil to rename comparator repeater redstone dust and a redstone torch and we're going to make this a filter for iron ingots and as you see, I have poppies here named No More Poppies. That's for the filter. We'll get into that when we get to it. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to take our starter block. And actually, I'm going to do this up one. Like so. Actually, I'm going to need that there anyways. So, oh, whoops. Go ahead and do that. And we're going to take out the center. Um, we're going to go ahead and go too high on these except for I kind of want to do my placeholder block like I was saying my glass this is just so we can see it which actually I can get away with doing here as well like so so we can see things be burnt up um, let's grab our dropper place it like this facing in and that's the one thing I forgot to put in the chest, and I did this last time too, is forgot the lava. So the lava goes in here. I'm not going to place it in yet, um, just because I want to do some testing before to show you guys. So now we're going to need our hoppers. Let's get rid of that. Let's land up here and place a hopper here and there. Now we're going to need four over from here. So one two, three, four. Thank you for counting with those. <laughs> okay. So now we have those. Now we need to do the circuitry for that. I guess we could have done that first. You're going to need a three by three area. So like so. Let's go ahead and fly up here. And then one right there. Okay. So now let's get into our redstone. Let's Actually, I didn't even need to do that because I could just do that. and then Like so, because I have it down here. So we're going to need our comparator, our repeater, and our redstone. So let's start with the comparator. The comparator is going to go off of the dropper, facing this way. Then we're going to need a repeater going out of that. And a repeater coming back into that block. Now the rest is just going to be redstone. Just like that, right there. So now, as you can see, if I do this, it automatically throws it in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick that back up, though. Okay. So that's the circuitry done for the automatic deleting of items. Now we need to actually set up our filter. So it's going to be two down from there. One filter, two filter, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go three, and then bring this over, just like so. 
take our chest, place you there. Now we're going to need our hopper again. Like so. Just like that. And it works best to have a block here to do this. So I'm going to place just a temporary block right there. And we're going to take another hopper and make sure we place it into that block, as you can see here. And then we can just break the block. Okay, so now, whoops, I hit F. Okay, stop it. Okay. So now we have that set up. Now we need to do the rest of it. So let's go ahead and land. We're going to want three off of here, like so. And then from this middle one here, this guy, we're going to want three out. Whoops, three out as well, like so. And then we'll want one down here, break out that center piece. Um, down here, you're going to want a repeater facing that way, as you can see. Up here, we're going to want our comparator facing that way. And then there's going to be three redstone dusts, just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our time set day. There we go. Okay. I thought I'd turn that off, but okay. So down here, we're going to put the redstone torch leading in like that. So that's the circuitry for the filter itself done. The circuitry done for the automatic disposal. Um, I'm just going to do this just because items can pop from here out on top. So we're going to cap this off like, oops, like so. Um, and we've already tested that, so we're actually going to need our lava now. So let's go ahead and... Put the lava in, like so. There we go. And let's clear our inventory of things. So we got our lava going. We have our chest and filter system sort of going. So we're going to take our four um, poppies that we have here. Oh, wait, those are going to be called no more poppies as well. Um, hold on. Let's, uh, since iron golems drop poppies, we're going to grab poppies. So you're going to take your anvil and you're going to rename these. Um, for the filter system, you want a unique item, something that's not going to be going through the system, which I could technically use any block, especially any block here, that is a stackable up to 64. Um, I haven't tried it with um, items that stack to like 16, but I know with non-stackable items, they put out too much output, which causes issues. So you want it to be a stackable item. But you want it to be something unique that's never going to go through this system. Um, for sorting systems for your storage, um, it's best to rename items. So that way there's no chance ever of something coming through and messing up the filter. Uh, hence why I have them named. It's just easier to name them. And I have this on my server as well. No more poppies is what they're called. And they're poppies. So you want to take these four and place them in just like that take your stack and just place it here and we're just going to let this go it's going to stop at 41 which you guys will see here in a second and it stays there with this configuration and this hopper that the comparator is hooked to is just enough to lock the hoppers up so that way they don't go through now if another piece of iron does come in it will change this to 42 obviously which will open it long enough for that one to go through, making it back down to 41. So if we look in this chest, we have our 22 iron. I'm going to grab a stack more to test. Okay, and now everything should actually be good. So let's grab a chest real quick, and let's place you here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Just throw it on top. All right, so now... If I place in this stack, as you see, it goes down. 42, 41, 42, 41. It's just going to keep doing that until it gets the whole amount in there. I'm just going to stop it at that and throw it back in. There's our 64. Okay, so we have that. Let's throw these poppies in. And as you can see, they're being automatically burnt up. And once there's no more poppies to be burnt, it, the uh, dropper automatically stops, so because of the circuitry we have in the back. Uh, if you look, you can see it going on right there. Now I did a whole stack, so it's gonna take a little bit.
take a long while. Um, so there we go. So this is basically how it works. Um, you can do the same circuitry with just a single hopper and a chest on top if you want to do a trash can just to get rid of things. Um, that works as well. This iron here will go through the filter, but if I put it over here, this should destroy it as well. Just like that. Eventually we'll see a chest pop out. There we go. And now it's empty. So that's all the sorting and uh, disposable uh, disposal for the iron farms. Basically what you would do is you'd have your chest here. Oops. Coming out of your IG farm, basically. And the way I have it on the server is I have basically a platform that the IGs fall onto. I want to say it's about that big, but I could be wrong. We can actually take a look later. Um, but So the iron golems get killed here, items go in here, and they automatically go into the chest, which in turn either dispose of poppies or filter through iron. So the way uh, hoppers work is if there's a hopper on top of a hopper, it automatically goes through the hopper to the bottom hopper, not to the side, even though it's angled to the side. A uh, hopper will automatically pull it out of the hopper above um, before it gets transferred, unless that hopper physically can't pull that item through. Then it goes to the side. So basically, since poppies can't be pulled into this hopper because of how it's set up, it's going to follow the pattern here and go across to here and then down in. Whereas in iron is in this filter here, so it's going to get sucked straight through all the way through. And that's basically how it works. Very simple, very easy to set up. Yeah. So anyways, guys, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Hit the bell icon to get notifications because you guys know how YouTube is as of lately. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think or anything else you would like to know about. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.